Hello everyone, welcome to HIO Tech. Mm hmm, HIO Tech. In this video, we're going to be looking at computer career opportunities. Yes, there are careers in computers, and it's an opportunity for anyone who wants to, you know, um, who have interest in computer to say, okay, well, I want, ha I have interest in this, um, in computers, and not just for fun, but you can also earn money with them. Okay, and their careers opportunities in computer. Okay, so let's look at this. We'll start with introduction. The first thing you need to understand is career. Okay, so when we talk about career, career is an occupation. Okay, undertaking for a significant period of a person's life with opportunities for progress and advancement. So, um, it's important for us to know what career is. Very, very important because it is a significant period of um, a person's life. Okay, and um, for every career, there is opportunity for growth, for advancement, and it's important that you know that. The next one is profession. Okay, so profession is a type of job that requires advanced education or training. Yes, it's a type of job that requires that that form of training, okay? And it is what people ask you, what do you do for a living? And you say, okay, I'm a system analyst, I'm a network administrator, um, a computer teacher, um, um, I'm a database administrator. Mm. This type of job requires a form of advanced education or training. Careers and professions are similar, and also they are different in some ways, but they work alongside. Now, a career is the body of a work done, okay? As you move from one, from your first position to the current one, that is a career, okay? So you have this wonderful career for you as we've come to see, okay? So this is very, very important, okay? One instance of a career, okay, is a person can study to be trained as a doctor and end up being a musical artist or a banker. Or when you work as an accountant and you grow in that profession to become a chartered accountant. Why a profession is when you study accountancy and you work as an accountant in an audit firm. Hope that makes sense. So here you can see that when we talk about a career, okay, um, you could have so many careers. You can go to school to do so many things, okay. You can study to be a doctor. You can study to be an artist. You can study to be a banker. But what we talk about profession is is what you study, and you're working in that firm or in an organization of what you've studied so that becomes a profession because that's what you're doing as your profession okay so this is very very important that we know the difference list of different computer careers okay number one we have hardware engineers web developers uh, the third one is software engineer, database administrator, network engineer, security analyst, data analyst. And there's so many computer careers that I've not even mentioned. Okay, this is what we've come to see as the more advanced computer is, the more opportunities, the more careers there is for this particular um, course. So let's start looking at them. Hardware engineers. Hardware engineers or computer hardware engineers design, implement, and test the hardware and system that optimize a computer's performance. What are we talking about? We're talking about these are computer professionals okay they, they design computers okay 
that tests this hardware, this piece of hardware, and they implement, they, they ensure that the computer performances is been enhanced. Okay. Now, what are their key skills? Solid math and science background. Okay. So if you if you're looking towards becoming a hardware engineer, guess what? You need to be very solid. You need to have a solid foundation in mathematics and science. Okay. Also, experience with circuit testing. Okay. Um, talking about um, um, various kind of testing, circuit testing. Um, also, measurement like logic props. Um, you have to um, have a skill for network analysis and even signal generation. web developer web developers design and code the website we use every day they are responsible for a site visual presentation not only that interactive features capacity and back-end structures in other words they design websites and they ensure that the website becomes interactive we have lots of popular websites like cnn bbc you know um a lot of them key skills fluency in javascript sql php html xml and css okay and there are others it all depends on the project that you want to work on also another skill you need to have is familiarity with multiple operating system and mobile platforms and also mobile operating system not just system operating systems but also mobile operating systems like your android and ios an eye for design you need to have that eye for design and the ability to be able to build visually appealing website so that we can be able to that, that becomes so appealing for users to want to um, stay glued on every day or keep coming back to it software engineer software engineers they design and build software operating system they build middleware even business applications they also build computer applications even games and network control systems you've seen some popular games and you've come to know that, okay well how is this happening this is this is traceable to a career called software engineers what are the key skills you need to have if you're interested in this career part strong analytical skills and capability to think outside box you are able to be able to think outside the box very very important ability to work collaboratively with other engineers to feature software three skill that you need to have in software engineer knowledge of various programming languages and databases the next computer career opportunity is database administrator database administrator okay known as dbas oversee an organization information the dbas protect existing databases by backing them up and developing airtight internal security measures they also monitor databases to ensure their ease of use while planning and implementing expansions as needed every organization have a database that backs up information of their clients is in hospitals is in banking every organization has a database so what are the skills should you be interested in this career ensure that databases operate efficiently and without errors very very important in banking you don't want to have your customers um, information leaked 
or the account balances having an inconsistency. Make and test modifications to a database structure when needed. You have to make and test those modifications. Okay, if there's an if there's an error somewhere, you should be able to modify it to ensure that they are running um, smoothly. Secure organizational word data. There should be a lot of security measures placed to ensure that every client registering for your organization, their data are secured. Also, analyze problems and data sets in context. Implement and implement innovative solutions to complex problems. Okay, so you, you are able to be able to implement solutions to complex problem gives you this wonderful pathway towards being a database administrator. Another choice of career is network administrator. A network administrator play a pivotal role within companies and organizations, handling day-to-day -day operations while monitoring both local area networks and wide area networks and their related what equipment. Okay, so what are the skills if you're interested in this particular career? System administrations, Microsoft Active Directory Database, know how to build an organization networking system from scratch, ability to maintain internal and external communications, data storage, and server systems. Now, over here, you're going to see a day in the life of a network administrator. You can see that they provide technical oversight. They research and recommend approaches for system administration tasks. They train team members on how on new hardwares or software. They also design, deploy, and administer the wireless infrastructures and supporting systems. And their median annual salary is $82,000. How awesome is that? And finally, security analysts. A security analyst protects networks from cyber attacks. They know ways of breaking into a system or network in order to make it safe. Okay, um, they can also be seen as a white hat hackers, ethical hackers, forensics, what? Analysts. So, in other words, they are the ones responsible for protecting the network to ensure that there is no breach into the network so you can see them as ethical hackers white hat hackers um, some we call them the good hackers just like when you have a police and then you have a criminal okay so they are the police they're the opposite of the criminals okay they are the police that ensures that um, your security digitally is safe now, what are those skills that you need to acquire if you choose, if this, if this particular computer career interests you? Ability to troubleshoot complex issues in network architectures. Experience in directing incidents report team. Perform risk and vulnerability what? Assessment. So, this brings us to the end of computer career opportunities i hope you've been able to learn a lot from this thank you very much bye bye i want to talk about a very important youtube channel called hr tech trust me this youtube channel is is a giveaway it's loaded with igcc ict o level as and a level so trust me you is a giveaway this is this channel is helpful for your um, group studies, your personal studies, and it, ha it has a proven track record of producing excellent results. So do me a favor, click on the subscribe button, okay, and share this YouTube channel with your friend.
Trust me, that will be the best gift that you are giving to them. Thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.